In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make text pop out of a textured background, like you see here. I'll be using GIMP version 2.6. Start by creating a new project. I'm going to be using 640 by 400 pixels. Select the Fill Bucket tool, and then come down here and select Pattern Fill. If you click this button right here, you can select your pattern. And I'm using this pattern right here, which is bricks. And then go over and select anywhere in this background here, and it'll change the background to the bricks. Next, let's add some text. So choose the text tool. I'm going to use a size of 154 pixels and press this button right here to select the font and I'm going to use sans bold. So then click somewhere in the background here and type in your text. And then using the left mouse button you can press and hold the button and move this to center it how you would like it. And then you can close this dialog box. Next we are going to copy this background texture onto our text. So to do that up on the text layer here, right-click the mouse button and select Alpha to Selection. This will allow us to select just what matches this text. And then left-click on the background layer here. And then over in the Edit menu, click Copy. And then select the text layer here and go over to the Edit menu and press Paste. And now it looks like our text has disappeared, but that's just because it matches the background. You can see this if you go over to the background layer and click on this eye right here. That'll turn off the background layer, and now you can see just the text. So turn the background layer back on. And also, this text was created in a floating selection layer. So if you go down to this anchor right here and press that button, that will anchor it to your text layer. Next, go over to this button right here and press it to create a new layer. And make sure that this layer has transparency selected for the layer fill type. And then press OK. And then we need a selection for the shape of the text. So go over to the text layer here, right click, and select alpha to selection. Now you can see from this dotted line which is moving, which is sometimes called marching ants, we have the shape of the text. So now with this selected, go up to the new layer that you've created and left mouse click on that to select it. And then go up to the select menu and select grow. And we're going to grow this selection by 8 pixels. Press OK, and it may be a little hard to see on the video, but we've increased the size here. The next thing we're going to do is fill this in with a black color. So go over and select the Fill Bucket tool. Make sure that you have FG Color Fill, which stands for Foreground Color Fill. And the foreground should be set to black right here, and if it isn't, you can just press here, which will allow you to set the color. Next, bring your cursor over to somewhere inside of the selection that you have, and press the left mouse button, and that will fill it with a black color. The next thing we want to do is select this whole layer. So go up to the Select menu and select All. And then we're going to add a blur. So under the Filters menu, select Blur, and then select Gaussian Blur, and set this to a horizontal and vertical value of 20 pixels, and press OK. And we want our text layer to be located on top of this. So go over to the text layer right here, and then click this green up arrow so that we can bring the text up above the black blur section that we just made. And next, we're going to give this text just a little bit of a beveled effect. 
So go over to the text layer here and right click and select Alpha to Selection. And that'll bring up our selection that matches the text. And then under the Filters menu, select Decor and Add Bevel. And then for this, set the thickness to 5. And make sure that both of these checkboxes here are unchecked. And then press OK. And it may be a little hard to see on this video, but there's a little bit of a beveled effect that's added here now. And then the final thing that we're going to do is move this text just a little bit. So you can select the Move tool here, and then place your cursor on top of the text, and press and hold the left mouse button, and just drag this text up a little bit and over to the left a little. And then you can turn the selection off by going up to the Select menu and select None. And as you can see, it looks like the text is popping out of the textured background. Well, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.